Well, good morning, everybody. Hey, getting ready to head out to do just a little overnight trip. Uh, Mrs. Outdoors here is giving me a lift to the trailhead. Say hi. Hi. So just going someplace here close, going out through North Cheyenne Canyon. Uh, gonna pick a pipeline trail, take that back to Frosty Park, spend the night there, and uh, come back via Mount Rosa tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to summit it or not. Uh, I've done it before, and the views up there are fantastic. So I'm kind of leaning towards yes on that, but we'll see. Uh, trying out a bunch of new gear today, actually hiking in in gingy socks. I've got a, a you know, pair of uh, running shorts with a liner, and most importantly, the thing that I'm really psyched about is I'm using that new Six Moons Designs uh, Lunar Solo. Uh, so first time out with that, just got it yesterday. All right, guys, we're getting on the road here and uh, I'll see you at the trail, bye. Okay, well, on trail, uh, getting started after a slight delay. Had to go back to the house, I forgot my phone. Oops. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out the uh, Seven Bridges Trail, skirt around Mount Caneo, pick up pipeline. Take that down to Frosty Park overnight there and uh, come back via Mount Rosa and uh, St. Mary's Falls. Uh, so I've been out here several times on this trail. Uh, for some of you, it might look familiar. But, you know, it should be, uh, you know, fairly easy uh, and, uh, and a good time. So trailhead's crowded, as expected. Uh, but hopefully we won't have that much traffic on the trail once we get past the the last bridge kind of thins out there All right time to get moving That root just tried to take me out. Ended up falling forward and almost face planting. All right, just got done with the uh, the last bridge, and uh, just take a little break here. Uh, I mean, it's been all uphill, so it's, it's a little warm out today. Uh, lots of cloud cover. It's supposed to rain, but we'll see. Uh, but even still, it's, it's hot. Um, so, not that much further till we get up to some really epic views. Uh, so, as we go around Kenya, we'll get on this uh, thin trail right on the side of the mountain uh, with the, the canyon right next to you. So. You know, don't lose your balance there. Rain starting. Whew. Well, using my phone. Just got past all the exposed area next to Mount Kineo because the rain was coming down. Uh, I don't know if there's any thunder or not, and lightning. I didn't see anything, but I got the creek here. Even with no music playing, you can't hear anything in the distance. <sighs> and catch my breath for a moment, and we'll move on.
So I had to stop and get my poncho on. I don't know if you heard that, but there's a little thunder cracking around. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm in a tree line on the side of a mountain, so uh, everything is taller than I am. Uh, but I tell you what, I'd rather be out here in the rain than sitting at home watching the Olympics. I really haven't been filming much because it's been raining. I think this is half rain, half sweat. Uh, Alright, pretty close. That's where I'm going right there, Frosty Park. I'm not going to lie to you. That right in there. I, I'm freaking drained. That kicked my ass. Yeah, holy cow. That was some of the steepest grade trail I have uh, hiked on. Whew. Mount Rosa, all covered with fog there. So I'm just going to find a nice piece of flat ground and uh, throw up my tent. Okay, got my tent set up and everything, but really don't have the, the interior done. Just kind of got my quilt flopped in there, letting it uh, fluff up. Uh, got everything <laughs> drying out over here, though. You know, try and dry it out as much as I can before the next bout of rain comes in. Yeah. Yeah, that last uh, last two miles, man, that was that was some rough stuff. That was uh, that was pretty demanding terrain. But gonna chill out here tonight. Got a nice little spot here. There's a creek right over there, so I've got water. Uh, Mount Roses right back up there behind the clouds. Uh, and there's a trail over here that leads out to the uh, approach trail for, for Rosa. And you can also take that trail back down into North Cheyenne Canyon where I was dropped off this morning. So that's where I'm going tomorrow. Uh, it's only 4 o'clock really early here. Uh, just kind of hanging out you know uh, i think the rain scared off a lot of people normally it's it's kind of busy back here uh people come back here to go shooting uh mountain bikes uh dirt bikes all that stuff and and hiking um but it's pretty chill here today so that's a good thing uh hopefully i won't get any visitors tonight people or otherwise and uh test out this new tent man i this you know, Lunar Solo, uh, this thing went up quick. I mean, I got here, I was tired. Uh, and, you know, when you're dead tired, the last thing you want to do is kind of mess around with the tent. But this set up really fast. And uh, got a good pitch and everything with it. So this is only my second time setting it up. Thumbs up there, Six Moon Designs. All right, folks, uh, I'm just going to hang out. Then I'll get some dinner and... I don't know. I've got the trilogy of The Hobbit downloaded on my phone, so I'm going to watch some Hobbit tonight. Well, it's about 9 o'clock. still raining hard. A lot of condensation on the inside of the tent. You can feel it misting it on my face. <laughs> it's drops in it. Uh, but the, the tent is held, held up well. So... It's kind of hard to keep everything dry, but do what we can. All right, guys. I will catch you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. A little cloudy this morning, but I uh, see the sun's trying to poke its way through, and hopefully I'm going to have some good skies today. The The forecast uh, is supposed to be you know, pretty good today. We'll see. Uh, it rained until about, I don't know, two. Probably till about two. Uh, of course, the exterior of the tent's pretty wet. Condensation inside. Uh, but, you know, seam seal, perfect. Didn't leak or anything. Uh, I will uh, put some of the seam sealing along the bottom of the tent. I found my pad slipping as I was moving throughout the night. So... Uh, one of the things they recommended was their 
how they do their seam sealing, put some strips like that along the bottom of your tent and it creates a grippy stripe and that'll keep things from moving. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that with this because uh, this, this material is really slick. Uh, but we're great. Got all my stuff dry now. <laughs> yeah, uh, quilt got damp in a couple areas where it hit the uh, the tent wall. Happens. Uh, but right now, got my coffee going, heating up uh, some water for my breakfast, which I haven't tried this before. It's the Peak Refuel Biscuits and Sausage Gravy. And I love me some biscuits and gravy. I don't have any hot sauce. Should have brought out some hot sauce. Oops. Um... Let's take a look around here. Here's the meadow where I camped out. It's not bad. Not bad. And on the other side here, across the road, it's a tree line, but there's a, uh, a stream back there. I haven't seen it, uh, but you can definitely hear it. But that's it there. Not too bad of a campsite. Uh, started to get a little worried when we had the uh, the thunderstorms. There, uh, there's a lightning strike, probably about a mile away. That was probably about the closest one. But everything around me is taller than my tent, so even the uh, the fence posts. So I wasn't too worried about anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little morning here. There's Mount Rosa. We'll see if we'll get to the uh, to the top of that today. We'll see how we're feeling. We'll see how what the uh, the weather looks like. Uh, yesterday turned out to be about seven miles. Uh, the last two miles on the pipeline, they were difficult. Uh, I mean, it was a serious climb the uh, the last couple of miles, and it really uh, really sucked the life out of me. Um, you know, when you get to the point where you're going like 30 yards and you're stopping to take a break and 30 yards and stopping again, that's kind of the way it was because it was so damn steep. Uh, but we got it done. All right. Let's hear for you old guys. Eh. All right. Well, I'm going to check my water here. Hopefully it's ready to go because I am freaking hungry. Uh, oh, yeah. Last night for dinner. Um so some companies out there have this pre-cooked pasta that you're supposed to like microwave for like 90 seconds. So I heated that up in my cook pot with some water, just kind of boiled it. Didn't take long, but I had a packet of Velveeta cheese uh, sauce. And in the packet that the macaroni came in, I squeezed some in there and added some of the, uh, the elbows and squeezed some more basically made a mac and cheese and it did not disappoint it was pretty freaking good and uh after burn through all those uh carbs yesterday it hit the spot so all right well i'm hungry i think my water's good to go so i'm gonna get breakfast all right get everything packed up <laughs> probably carrying an extra four pounds of rain with everything one last sweep around my campsite and I think we're good So we're starting to get into the cloud area and you saw where that was earlier. Uh, whew, that has to be at least a thousand foot climb today. But if, the day, if your day didn't start like that, you wouldn't be in Colorado. <sighs> All right, been going for about an hour. Don't know how far I've gotten, but Right there, that's how you go up to Mount Rosa. But as you can see, it's all socked in. Uh, no views today, so not going to bother with the summit. Uh, I love that mountaintop. The views are incredible. Take a look at my 
video. Uh, I'll come back when, uh, you know, when it looks better outside. You know, so that way you can really see the views from up top there. So, going to end up going that way there. And that will take us past St. Mary's Falls and back out to the parking lot where, hopefully, we'll meet up with Mrs. Outdoors. Uh, I think I might do a side trip to St. Mary's Falls. We'll see when I get there. We got options. We got all day. All right, let's get moving. Well, North Cheyenne Canyon in Colorado Springs is out there somewhere. Well, unfortunately, the fog's still here, so won't get a good view of uh, the falls. And definitely you can't see out into uh, Cheyenne Canyon or the springs. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to press on down the trail and uh, meet up with the, the spousage and go get a burger. Well, that's where I came from up there. And I'm going back around that way. All right, back in the uh, parking lot. Just waiting on Mrs. Outdoors to come pick me up. We are back. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe, like, notification bell, all that junk. Uh, man, I'm ready to get something to eat. Talk to you guys later.